In today's video, I'm getting a little bit of everything done and I decided to just take all of you with me while I do so and have some fun. Hey babe, who can fight mannequins in here? See, let me, let me just talk to y'all because hey babe, ain't she chilling? Let me shut up. If there's one thing I've learned about being productive is that you don't always have to start at the same time or super early in order to get it done. You definitely need a plan though. And so today is no exception. We're in the afternoon and I did not let that stop me or restrict me from trying out this brand new 7-Eleven PB&J uh, coffee mix. <laughs> that was um that i i acquired and came into tell you what it's it's a bit too sweet for my liking and i have an extra unopened bag so maybe somebody won't it. <laughs> and as a non-coffee person i have to be really tired to drink it and this was also the exception as well talk about exceptions i was not tired today i just wanted to try it I said I was gonna have a full glass, but it's okay. It tastes too much like peanut butter and jelly and 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 barely tastes like what coffee, what you would expect. And I like iced, so almond milk is chilled. Let me know. Team iced coffee, team hot coffee. I'm I'm a iced coffee girl. I'll on I'll on occasion drink hot coffee. But coffee in general, I don't like that. I don't like that hyper feeling. You know what I mean? Because I'd rather dump this out knowing I can't handle it than to drink it and then I'm spending the night in the toilet. Like the devil is a liar. <laughs> we have to figure out what else we're wearing because this was yesterday's fit. And I know you're like, yesterday we didn't see you yet. Like, they, that was in the last vlog. <laughs> I left off with that. Yeah. But um, pop into this snack here. Snack chips. I think they're baked. Y'all ever eat the crumbs? That, that get too messy for me. I, I cannot do it, and I don't want an extra mess to clean up. So I ball it up and toss it. Scent of the day you will see on the screen is body moisturizer, Bahamas passion fruit, banana flower. Pink Pineapple Sunrise. Picked up both of these from Bath and Body Works. And you know, just overall enjoying it. This is cute all on its own. I'd rather be bare face cleaning because I feel like you do a full make, I've done it before, full makeup, full face cleaning. Then you just burn it. I did that before cleaning the shower. Ooh, I, I was I never again. Never. Not 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 that activity with a full face of makeup. It's been very very windy today. We'll see how much more we can get done. 
guess you could say this is my fit of the day. Get back into these pants. I forgot I had them. I ain't going to turn around all the way. For obvious reasons. <laughs> I think that's going to be a running joke on my channel ever since I started the um, Clean With Me series. So I have the towels getting ready to be washed. Have a load of laundry going when you have other things to do. So that means we got to find something else to do. As bad as I want to do my nails, I'm not going to do it now. Especially with all, all the, the labor intensive stuff I'm getting ready to do. I'm not going to tire myself out. I'm just going to one section, one project at a time. Trying to see what else I can get into. These are the clean clothes. I see another pile here I need to sort through. And I'm going to wash them again because it's been a while. Because so, sometimes even when you wash clothes and then you put them aside, either you're not going to wear them or they're too small. The thing about it is it may pick up and absorb over whatever container, bag, or shelf you put it in. And we talking about gathering dust and all kind of stuff. Who knows? Especially you put them in the closet. I just showered. I don't know if I want to do that. This is wrinkly. Still smells clean with the detergent. I can smell the detergent I use. Can't call the name of it. But um, it's just wrinkly on my washing man. This is a blazer at best. That's inside liner and everything. I'm he as you can see, I'm hesitant to just put this on. It still can fit it. This might be suited better if I wear these and show you what these look out like on me. Hmm. Oof. You see none of that on the way walking down there. Another cardio walk. I come back. I squirrel in the trash can and I'm like, oh, pizza box. You look closely. That's why you looking for pizza scraps. Maybe a little piece of a uh, pepperoni left over. Like, nah. Ain't doing it. Just ratchet. Ratchet squirrel. Don't squirrel a whole thug. Tail sticking out. They want you to know. Like, I want you to know I'm in this default trash can. <laughs> I want you to know. Look for them scraps. Piece of crust. Cheese. Pepperoni. And the way that you know is God, and even those who cut up, who are menaced to society, think they big and bad thugs, they got to respect it. Yeah. Beautiful thing. are going to be like this. I kind of like it because you get to see the blue sky. Like these first hand the whole mailbox and like people riding past the head stuck out. See they still ain't used to the people vlogging out here. And with a camera. He's looking just like these crazy. And he's looking at them like they crazy and something pop off. And then they be, oh, I'm so thankful somebody recorded. Not that you should record it, okay? It's some stuff that's really sacred that you should. Really should. 
sprinklers across the street. I find it odd how some spaces are on the sidewalk, others are not. So when I got in the store, they started playing copyrighted music and I already knew what time it was and I came to pick up them bag of chips that cheddar jalapeno. Chips. Good evening. Good, how are you? Came out lower than I thought. You know about a, the size of the bag of chips I told y'all about cost at least $2.49. I remember when that size was at least a dollar, maybe a dollar fifty. Now, one thing about these cardio walks, they nice. I'm getting everything toned. But I don't like cat calling. I guess that's something I got to get used to. I got I got to stay in shape for me. And for those that are new or y'all already familiar with me, I don't get snacks like that all the time, but um tell you this, when that time of month, y'all ladies know what I'm talking about. Specific cravings. It's just like, well. This and vitamin D, so you know, kill two birds with one stone. I get my vitamin D from the sun. I get my cardio from walking. I can tell my legs don't hurt as much. You, know, you start back exercising and you get back into the habit of it after it's been a while. You're gonna feel that burning pain, like the just you wait thing. Much. Ooh. And I get the microwave it in there. I think I'll take it. How much is the bar? Okay. I think I think I'm good. Yes. If you want it. <laughs> You're welcome. You have a good one. Yeah, you have a good one. Yes, sir. Step in dog pool. I put my foot down. I'm going somewhere with this. I put my foot down and to um I felt a little stickiness like my foot didn't come up automatically. Like a sticky substance. I'm like, please don't be the doo-doo from the dog. Please don't. I got to get used to the fact that um, now that I started doing these cardio walks, some I've never done before. I got hit on three times a day. So here I am showing you all Bath and Body Works brand new display in my area. They have the Wild Sand and Endless Sea and they have all the perfume that comes with it. 
and they were not yet open as you will see in just a little bit. This was a really nice display. It definitely caught my attention coming in. And there were other people amongst me that were sitting to wait for them to open it up as well. Yeah, they they don't play. They put they put the items on lockdown. You can see some of the other vendors with the black covering over their items. I mean, you could tell this 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 is the calm before the storm. So I came at a great time. Quick story time, quick story time. This used to be a toll house cookie vendor. And you know, I'm bringing that up just because I saw it while I was waiting for Bath and Body Works to open in Tarum. You know how you see people that look like actors and celebrities? There was one particular person here um, years ago before they closed down, obviously. They look like the actor. And I've seen other people here where I am that have looked like celebrities over the years, but you know, quite random, but that made me think of that. I hate that they closed out some real nice cookies. I couldn't tell you the favorites that I got. It had been that long ago. They got the, they got the place leasing, leasing opportunities. Y'all need to just go ahead and open Toll House back up. I don't know how much of this I'll be able to get, but uh, back to school. It's rainbow. It's closed. Not gonna stop me from looking in the window. I have a feeling that split is thigh high. <clears throat> and I think I could fit that. I mean, fix it. I think I could fix that. It's summer, so there's lots of maxi dresses there that you can take advantage of. Now the cute little kid shoes. I'm that auntie now. There we go. <laughs> Figured I'd give you all a tour. They're not open yet. I have a Chinese place. Been here for years. Charlie's Philly Steaks. They have this this lemonade with peach diced peaches at the bottom. So we're gonna sit here till they're open. Y'all won't believe what I walked up on while I was waiting for Bath & Body Works to open up. They've launched their Wild Sand and Endless Sea, which I had a chance to take a whiff of both. And just stay tuned for my thoughts on that. Very much summary. Very much. Tell me what you think. I don't want to say that concludes our trip, but I figured we end off on a good note. They got those laundry samples. They're launching in different scents. Now we got Victoria's Secret to think about.
the staple scents here love spell it pretty much it it's love spell but it doesn't smell the same and by the time i got to this portion of the video i was talking about how these if you've had the original scents from years ago the original formulas before they began to alter them it, hold on to them as long as you can that's why it's important and imperative that you have some fragrances some body care products that are in rotation that are in constant rotation i even took the time here to smell i think this is amber romance i smelled it again and mind you the last time i bought it was probably about two years ago and it's it, it didn't smell the same then. And it's it smelled even lighter when I went this last recent time than two than the two years before. I now realize the original bottles before they became circular, before they the formulations, the reformulations, I could have I should have bought several bottles of the Amber Romance from about 2014, 15. Because that 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 was where it was at, and the same goes for Bath and Body Works, the marshmallow pumpkin latte, anything else I bought. I should have kept that stuff. You hear me? I should have held on to it as long as I could. But you know, when you don't know any better, you don't do any better. Also, here with Original Bear, these scrubs. I see Victoria's Secret are starting to venture out and add things to their collections. But I feel like they don't have as often of releases and they don't have as often as fragrances as Bath & Body Works. Fun fact, Victoria's Secret and Bath & Body Works used to be partnered together. I think they recently split and it's been about well over a year. They're, they're no longer merged together or whatever the proper term should be. But yeah, I, I just feel like Victoria's Secret is kind of lagging behind a little bit with their releases and fragrances and stuff. And um, hopefully they they will they will get back into rotation and and run right alongside Bath and Body Works. We'll see. We'll definitely see for the men's collection. I think I want to come back to that later. They they just have the same two colognes there in the body creams. Like, y'all leaving the men out. I mean, I know it's called Victoria's Secret. Victoria, don't tell nobody. Okay. But that's the only thing they have for the men. Bath and Body Works is showing out when it comes to the men, the skin cream. I don't know if that's deliberate, that they won't release anything else for the men. Victoria's Secret. But, you know, side eye. I'm just saying. Also, I had someone to tell me about the very sexy scent and that it's a number one seller. One of the uh, clerks there told me about it. And here we are. Out of both of these smelling these in the store, never bought them because, you know, obvious reasons. Can you expand the collection for the men? That's all. I, the last few times I've been in here, I know y'all listening to. stores down. I think I'm gonna go to Raccoon Shoes. Lots of nice stuff but I just feel like there, there's something left to be desired with Victoria's Secret. We're going here to try on some shoes. 
Florida and they Crocs. Do you know how many times I've seen Croc heels? Like, get out of here. Let me. <laughs> the whole spread of Crocs. <laughs> mannequins in here see let me let me just talk to y'all because baby and she chilling let me shut up two or more five dollars each this is where i used to buy my tank tops from this is the time to do it with the summer but yeah about the mannequin i'm i'm that vlogger I, i'm that vlogger that will oh this looks fun this looks funny i'm not editing that out these are crop tops. Come in here just like this. What? This is cute. Now I have on a shirt that says Queen. I have a shirt on that says Queen. That's a necklace. Chances are that'll turn on your neck, but I came in for the dress. Other than that, really nice. Okay. Can't pop those. It's just a, a textured type of thing. I feel like this would look the best on me. On my shape. Now, if we're talking about um, body images, it's just like, okay. Next best thing is putting on clothes that fit you well. Rainbow's nice to shop at, but you know, you wanna get a couple pieces there. Not everything. See, I like all the color. Come up here and wipe up, you hear me? This is $7.99, see this, this is where I need to have a full-fledged shopping spree. I also like these. They're more waist-centered. This one is $13.99. Accentuates arms, accentuates the waist. I like that. I'm hoping it's not a dress. Because that's a mini dress. Like, I have to wear jeans. Let's go with that. I like this, but because it's a tube top, can we have air where we can put straps in it? I'm just saying. A little short for me. Like, my butt would be out. You hear me? Especially with something like this, like a jumpsuit. Body, anything body can hit butt out. But your butt ain't your bit. No, no, what I'm, what I'm saying to you, my butt is going to be out. It's going to be accentuated, okay? And I can't help it. But I can help what I buy. I like this, but I feel like it would be too short. You know how dresses be riding up and you know it's too short? You question the length. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm questioning the length. This one is really, really cute. Orange, orange, yellow, anything that accentuates this melanin and yellow. Not that yellow dress. Absolutely not. It just looked like, okay, I'm just stepped out of the house in any old kind of way. I'm just going for it. That jumpsuit I would do. It looks too big. Is crop button down, but all you have to do is wear tank top to go with that. This is cute. If you haven't noticed, I'm you're probably picking up on the era I grew up in. All rise slouch jean, and this looks like cargo pants. I used to wear those cargo pants, like the ones singer Sierra when she came out with that song called Get Up in 2007. 
cargo pants was the thing, the tomboyish look. It's simple, cute, not like now your butt out. I'm like, oh my goodness. Or everything is nearly cropped. Like, what if you got a stomach or a little belly? What? What you gonna do? They had, used to have jersey dresses. Now they have jersey bodysuits. Do they make jersey dresses anymore? I don't know if they do. I'll tell you what I need. Get a pair of jeans. You can just feel it, 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 it's time for a new pair of jeans because the ones you have from maybe a year or so ago or more, they start to get too tight. Joggers. I love crimps in this like this. And some people be like, oh, dang, classy. Well, well uh, it's comfortable. Sometimes I choose comfort and cuteness over high fashion and cuteness. You can do, you can rock both. You can rock both. Track suit. Too short for me. Color is cute. It would accentuate my melody. Now I would do that, that tracksuit right there. Very much pink, very much. I get both pink and black and then the baby pink and the hot pink. Some shoes, now, I need to get a hold of some flats. That might be the one thing I do get from this store here. Flats. They're on sale for $7.99 or $5, I guess we got about that. Well, hello. I like it. Some, and, I, and I'm trying to look for something that would just match. Where I can pull it off with anything. I can't be something. I'm going to go to the store like now, like today, with y'all. Like it got to work. Please don't tell me this is Savage Villain. I done smelled the real one, so it's only right I smelled the dupe. Ooh, smells similar. There's an edge in it, though. Let me not spray no more. I don't want to get heading back home and be like, ooh, I want to smell like a big burly dude. Um, I have to be quiet and not say nothing. Perfume, 3.4 ounce. They have these unusually large bottles. They have lots of perfume dupes here. So, Carrera Stiletto. I just know, I just know this is not a, a good girl dupe. I just know, I just know it's not. Lip oils. Oh, my lip gloss. Body care. African black soap body scrub. I've tried the actual bar on your face. Great for acne. Sweet coconut. And these are salt scrubs. I don't know if this one is a salt scrub either. Or sugar one. I had this one. Decluttered it. Yep. Just picked it up from Ross when we a few short months ago. Supposed to um, whiten your skin. Toasted marshmallow. Oh, I bet this smells good. Very much. They also have Victoria's Secret and Bath and Body Work dupes. They shrink. They drink. They're sealed, so. Unless they open them, I don't know what they smell like. We're sticking together. I thought they came up in a set of two. Pink Himalayan salt. Lashes. Damn, I'm walking out here smelling like whole fragrance cloud. Didn't smell it much. So lip mask, so 
but it must be like a popular thing now. Packaging is like a honey pot and that's like dipping a honeycomb stick, whatever they call them things. And I used to get the coolest freaking shades from here. Sitting with this couple, I should have recorded <laughs> and kept the cam on me. And I said to him, I looked up because part of the mall has the um, has glass through the ceiling. And I said, I just know that ain't thunder. I just know that ain't thunder. He said, No, they rolled they bowling balls up there. That's what I was told as a child. So what we would get as children, they would tell us. Every time we about to rain or thunder and lightning, turn, they'll have us turn all the TVs off, turn all everything electronic, unplug it out the socket, not just turn it off. <sighs> that hush, the Lord talking. This, this God is my witness. <laughs> and it started raining now. That's it, no ma'am. I have been in Bath and Body Works, but by, by the time you see this one, that one will be up. The Bath and Body Works, Victoria's Secret, a couple other places. I think I'm gonna move because this this wind is blowing it near us. It's still blowing it. So lots of stuff they used to tell us as kids when it was starting to rain and. That's, that's the first I heard from this couple I was sitting with. The one thing I'll play, I'll play with the thunder and be like me. I already started on this plate, but I wanted to show y'all what I was having for dinner. It's been a couple days since y'all last seen me. Hamburger patties. I sliced them into strips, so beef strips. We have sautéed French green beans with onions. And a homemade smothered cream cheese garlic sauce. Anyway, but I already got into it because I was hungry and couldn't wait to stop and record and show y'all. So before I devour this further, this this what I'm into for dinner. So I'm taking down my cornrows and my hair finally and only got this section left in the front. I figured now is as good as time as ever. <laughs> Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen, don't want a photo bomb. <laughs> Have a good one. Mm -hmm. Okay, got a photo shoot going on. Like, I'm gonna capture that till they get ready to release it. First thing you have walking and you step in dog cocking. Sorry, cool. I like this uh, slick back ponytail. Just washed it last night. In time y'all see it. A couple days later. No snack run this time. Cold drink run. And as you drink, oh, the stomach of the free. Corny, I know. First, we can continue. If there's anything I want to leave with you all to close this vlog out, it's just to be mindful of how you speak to each other. That goes for if you're a man, that goes for if you're a woman, that goes for if your connection with another person is platonic, they are your friends, 
understand your family. No matter what connection you have with a person, please be mindful as how you speak to them. Because it does matter. First Corinthians 13 is definitely a road map. And that means nothing if all you're doing is talking about it. You'd like to see more vlogs like this? There's going to be a playlist for you to watch on either side that will be linked. Until next time, love you. When I think about love, it's one of the bravest things that you can do. It is patient. It is kind. It does not envy or boast. And it'll keep, keep you on, on the coast of not being rude or self-seeking. Nor is it easily angered or seething mad. And it keeps no records of wrongs. It has no pleasure in evil, but it rejoices in the truth. And most of all, 